Welcome to Inside Out Boys with your host, Cody Bass. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Big hello to all the new subscribers. Thank you for stopping in. At this channel here, we like to have some good old outboard fun. Taking some of these older outboards, some of the newer outboards, some of the little bitty, little bitty outboards, some of the bigger outboards. And we see what we can do to get them back to work. You understand? So, um, speaking of work. Getting back to it. Um, the weather looks like it's kind of breaking outside. and uh, So I thought it might be a nice day to get a little exercise, take a little break from all this outboard work, go down around the boat harbors and take a little tour and see what might have showed up or not. So that's what I'm thinking. How about you? You want to come along? Let's go. I like that little step through gate on that one. Nice little bow loader landing craft type. Mm-hmm. 
Who got on there? Suzuki 140. With a stainless prop. Even got the doghouse. Rollers for pulling his salmon net. gill netter boat little starcraft I've been looking for a skiff about like that one something that's uh built for a short shaft like that one is I believe that's original I don't believe nobody cut that down I believe that's the way it came an SF 14 S hmm you think that would be an SC 14 S. Maybe the S is for a short shaft motor. Don't know. Beautiful day in the harbor. Now this is the harbor that's on the town side of Kodiak. Hey, good. There's one for sale if you want to buy a charter boat. <laughs> We got here. A plywood wood. Yeah, some skill went into that, I'd say. Got some nice high vis, so the Coast Guard can see him from a helicopter. Nice little work skiff somebody built. Some skill went into that. Got a little bitty eight horse yammy, four stroker. Nice wide little skiff. A bulbous bow, fiberglass boat. Something tells me that didn't come from the factory like that. Got the old bulbous bow on it. It's supposed to help you save all kind of fuel. Interesting. Yes, you are on camera. Got a digital website there. You can scan that with your phone, I guess, and take it right to the website. Fish and Chips Charters. He's got a couple of boats down here. Nice. Got a crank down bow ramp. Look at this here. This is also fishing 
Chip Charter. I know this guy. It's Captain Dave. Now, if you look at the tilt system on that, you notice his lower units are not in the water. That's because that setup he's got right there, not only, you know, the engines themselves have tilt trim, but that device he's got on there raises them up and down. Atlas. So that way he can bring them completely out of the salt water. And if you were going to invest that kind of money on those kind of engines, I think I'd spend the extra and get those two. Yep. Pretty boat. Yep. The Bristol Breeze. Now I like this one here beside it. That's a nice boat. Nice high gunnels. He added extra height on there. And it just, I don't know, it just has good lines. Looks like it would be a good boat, not only, uh, to commercial fish out of, but it'd be a nice run around the island hunting and camping type boat. Yeah. Pretty boat. Got the name and all ground off of it. I don't know if he's selling it. Looks like he's been working on it. Nice big fish hold in there. Kind of a round stern on it. Yeah, I bet it does well. Money, 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 money. Money. Oh, looky there. Three, six, nine. Yeah. Grady White. Normally something you'd see down south. Really nice. Yep, that is one nice rig there. Ain't got the old Kodiak green all over it either. Which you often see. Nice. Now, that's a pretty heavy fiberglass boat. What kind of speed do you think he gets out of that? Yeah. 900 horsepower. What do you think? 40? 50 knots? I don't know. Yeah. Now that ain't no joke for a name of a boat around Kodiak. What is the outlook guy? Look at that anchor chain on that. Stainless. Yep. 
hydraulic gate on it so you can put your ATV or whatever you want on it. Suzuki's. Money, 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 money. Tandem inline twin propellers per engine. Now you can see, I don't know, but I think I don't know if that's the a jack plate that lifts them straight up because they're still in the water just a little bit. Nice. 700 horses on an aluminum. Now that one, I imagine it it gets right with the program on the speed as well. A lot of room inside that house. Yeah. Stainless. Woo. Oh, looky there. Now, right at the beginning of this video, you saw some guys leaving my house with a big outboard on a trailer, on a flatbed trailer there. Well, that's what it was. Carbon copy of that one right there. Yamaha V4 two-stroker So I just sold one of those Still getting the work done And Got a little Johnson. I think I just sold that motor to a fella here a couple months ago. I'm almost positive that's it. Sure looks like it. Beautiful day out. Red skies at night. Oh, 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 oh. Now what is that? The old panacea with the big trolling motor on it. This maybe some kind of dive boat or something? I don't know. Boy, you'd have to be, I think, in some pretty calm water run that guy but he's he's got it all set up for commercial fishing he's got the big roller on the back for hauling a net over the stern hydraulics some kind of jig machines I don't know what kind of seas this thing would take though huh Come a little bit closer, hear what I have to say. Harvest Moon. If you want to book a charter, there's a phone number. Yeah. 
This is a nice boat, huh? Got a control station back here. There's another set of those 300s with the tandem propellers. Yeah, see his lifts up out of the water too. Nice. That's the way you should do it. Just like that one over there. <laughs> a blue sailboat with a blue dinghy. Now that right there is the name of a boot. Well, maybe the boots named themselves after that boat. Who knows? Kate High Sea, Alaska Department of Fish and Game. Ty did the dock and got his running lights on. I think they use this boat, if I remember right, as a training boat for high school kids. That's why it's K High C to help them get into the fisheries if they want to. Blowboat. Solid aluminum. Yeah. Nice looking aluminum sailboat. <laughs> now, where do you put your backup kicker? I guess if you got sails, that's optional. You might have a little installed put putter in there. Nice. <laughs> Wait a minute now. Got the weather deck on the back, so he's a long liner. They long line halibut, black cod, cod. But if if you ask me the name on that one, hmm. Don't know. <laughs> I suppose. The wild island with his little Zuki for his raft up there. See, he got that puppy chained down because they will walk off from what I've been told on a stand. I smell the fiberglass resin. Somebody's interesting boat there. See, these salmon fishermen, they put those uh, extra wheelhouses on top like that so they can see them jumpers. 
There's an old one, old schooner type. That old boat will take some seas, though. Boy, this is an odd looking thing. The crow's nest. Boy, look at that. Got his backup kicker with a built-in gas tank and everything ready to go. Got a step. That almost looks like a lifeboat or something. I bet that thing will handle some seas. I like his matching buoys there. Bumpers. Fenders. And he's got a... Got a little galley sink there. Got his spice rack. <laughs> oh, this would be a good. Imagine he's got some bunks up for it. Got another little backup kicker right there. The fishing vessel crow's nest. Sight. <laughs> interesting looking boat. Interesting looking hull. I wonder if that's steel. I imagine that's steel. It's what it looks like. With that keel running under there like that, you could probably beach that thing. Very interesting boat. Got a big old light out on the end of his anchor set up there, I guess. See them? Those are those over there. That's a four-person heavy weather Alaskan life raft. You get in that, can you imagine being 20, 30 foot seas and <laughs> stuck in that thing? Yeehaw. Talk about fun. Shoe yet, look like they're doing some work. The salmon berry. But yeah, that's an interesting boat there. I hadn't seen that one before around here, but it says from Kodiak. That's an Alaska number, but that is not a Kodiak number. Then he's got a piece of plywood sacrificial, I imagine, there for loading and stuff. But I believe it's a steel hull. And the top, I guess, is fiberglass. Looks like it anyway. Nice setup. Got his propane back here. I don't think that's one because it has its own gas tank, but they do make outboards that run on propane. Parson, I think they call them. Yeah, but that old fishing boat right there could tell a story or two. Well, that's a nice saner right there. Look at the hydraulics on that thing. That's nice. Huh. Now that device right there, so he pot fishes too. They put them big seven by and six by six pots. And that device there is hydraulically dumps them over the side. When then they bring them back on board with the crane and set them on this thick wooden deck and dump them down in the fish hole. Yeah. That's a lot of aluminum boat right there. Sorry about that. Yeah, that's a lot of aluminum. <laughs> Triple welds. Nice.
That's a tall wheelhouse on that sainer there. The fishing magician, cash buyer. Hmm, interesting. Lord willing, that's about it. There's all your information. He's a cash buyer. I guess he buys fish from other boats. Something like that, I'm not sure. There's an old wooden saner. Yep. You can pick boats like that up around here. And I'm not kidding, running boats. These old wooden ones like this. You can pick that boat up. I've seen people get them for just a little over a thousand dollars. Now some fish in this state can be what they call crucified. That device right there is called a crucible. So the line goes between those two uprights there. It's being winched in by that winch over there, that capstan. And when the fish's face hits that, those two upright, it just rips the hook right out of its mouth and overboard they go. The only fish that I'm aware of that they have to do careful release on up here is halibut, and those were rules established under the North Pacific Halibut Association, or Commission. All the other fish, if they're targeting whatever, and they don't want it, they don't have to careful release it. They can rip the hook right out of its mouth. That, that's from what I understand. I may be wrong. Maybe they've changed it. I don't keep up with the regulations anymore. Uh, I don't have to when it comes to the commercial thing, and I'm glad I don't. <laughs> nice piece of line. <laughs> now this boat right here, this was my neighbor's boat up until about a month ago, and he just sold it. Um, he got good money for that boat. Of course, he had permits with it. Anna D. Yep, my neighbor used to own that boat about a, up till about a, a month ago. There's a wooden... Wooden saner with all fiberglass looks like top house. The Woody. Ba -da -da -da. Yep. Unless you might have a little bit of water in the bilge, a little bit of a list. Another old wooden one. The Susan. Good looking boat though. Nice old wooden boat. The family pride. That's a pretty boat, isn't it? Got a little painting going on.
Well, I hope you enjoyed the little tour. It's a pretty nice day. Just wanted to get out, get a little exercise, walk around a little bit, look at some pretty cool boats and such. But, you might have saw at the beginning of the video, I wheeled a, another victim in here. And you might be going, well, what is it? Well, let's take a look. This is the next one that we're going to do because I've been wanting to get at it. There it is. A Spirit 20. Now, I've already ran this engine once, so I've I've got it running, but it uh It's been sitting for a long, long, long time. And uh, what the spirit is, is really just a rebadged um, Suzuki. You can tell that by that shift handle. That shift handle is not original to the motor. You can see it's blue. Nissan or Suzuki blue. And uh, I don't know. I've heard different things about the Spirit. What it says on the tag, the badge on it, says Arctic Marine Enterprises. So I don't know if this was an attempt by maybe Arctic Cat to get in uh, on the outboard boom that was happening or what but the lower unit that you see how it's a different dark blue color there that is original that's how they came there are a few of them on YouTube uh, running and such not a 20 that I've seen but smaller ones but uh, this one the throttle don't work so um, we're going to get on to that, and there's several other things. I want to drop that lower unit, get a new water pump impeller in there, and uh, so we've got a little bit to do on it, on the Spirit. Whoops, sorry about that. And there you can see it says Arctic. A little... Got a little religion right there, some holy. But uh, she runs really good. I already cleaned up the carburetor in a few videos ago, you may remember. But we've got to get the, something going with the throttle. It won't throttle. So we've got a lot of work. Yes, we do. we got a lot of work. Can't remember. Well, they move. It moves a little. They're tight. So, this is the next victim. And we'll get to it in the next video. And I'll start getting it apart. And see if I can find a impeller for it. Uh, something that we can rig for a, a good throttle system. And then I probably am going to, if I can find it, do a head gasket uh, change on it just because this one's so old. Because I really want to preserve this one because in my neck of the woods, maybe in yours they're around, this is the only one I've ever seen. So, it's getting a little long. That's going to be a wrap up on this one. This will be our next victim. And, as always, that's one more hack from Kodiak and I want to thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to Inside Outboards with your host, Cody Bass.